In this video I'm going to show a little bit about how to work with the attribute table in ArcGIS Pro and to do that I'm going to use the data set of counties in Washington State that I have. So I've got a map that I'm making right here in ArcGIS Pro with a couple of layers in it for geographic context. Uh, we have urban areas in gray, highways in light red, um, and then we've got this counties data set that I put on the top. Now it has very detailed geometry. Uh, let's take a look at the attributes that are there. So I'm going to right click this here in ArcGIS Pro and choose attribute table. That will open up the attribute table on the bottom and I can resize this however I would like. Uh, I might need to zoom out the map a little bit. Uh, that's fine uh, just so that I can see everything. And looking in this table I can see different columns uh, that describe uh, things in this data set. Uh, some of them that are interesting to me right now are the name, uh, which I can see in this column. This is the name of the county. Um, and then I have total population in 2010, as well as population density, people per square mile, I would guess, uh, in 2010. So uh, let me find a county here. Let's say I wanted to see Benton County. I could highlight this row here, and uh, it now appears highlighted in the map. So the table and the map are linked with each other. Now up here is a selection tool which is handy in ArcGIS. I could use this to select other counties. So I've clicked the county here. Now Benton County is no longer highlighted. And uh, I could scroll down here and see that the county I have clicked is Okanagan County. And I can do this with other counties to see what they are. Uh, here's Skagit County. Uh, when I'm done, uh, I can just clear the selection by clicking this clear button and I'm back to where I started. Now the nice thing about tables is that we can uh, sort these. So let's see uh, what's the most populated counties in Washington State. I can right click this column heading of total pop 10 and sort descending. That will put the highest values on top. Obviously King County where Seattle is located uh, is the most populous county in Washington State. But I could highlight, for example, the top five and uh, show them this way. I could also uh, sort this in the other direction. So sort ascending. And we could highlight now the five least populated counties in Washington State, which are in very different locations. Um, so here we're starting to learn a little bit more about our data uh, just by playing around with the attribute table and uh, we can see all the different kinds of information that can be stored about these data sets in a table. We could potentially have 20 or 30 columns and many data sets do and this can sometimes be where most of the data is stored uh, in the data set. It's not so much in the geometries but it can be in the number of attributes that are stored allowing for uh, detailed analysis. 